Welcome back to part three. Um, I'm Martin from Stratchat and we are trying to form the empire of Russia. And we are really, I think, trying to do it as this character here, Rurik. Um, the reason for that, the reason I want to form it as Rurik and not perhaps as one of his sons is that um, when Rurik dies, all these kingdom titles are going to split up because we've got four or five different sons. So we're, we're in a little bit of a race against time. I'm 51 years old, unstoppable army. There's no reason why I shouldn't be able to do it. Just to remind us, anybody that wasn't, uh, didn't watch yesterday, we currently have 35 counties. We need 62, so we're well over halfway there. Um, going to be hitting these ones in the south first because I'm very, very conscious that Kazaria is, is taking these places over uh, one by one. In fact, the first war we're going to declare is a kingdom war against this guy uh, for the kingdom of Ruthenia. In Ruthenia, there are eight counties. That's going to be a nice, nice big chunk. After that, we'll go and we'll attack Ustug Vlogda and uh, Congri eventually, and I think there's about nine there. So already we've seen we're very, very close to reaching our limit. There's another three here, um, for example, and of course these places are all, all already as, as well. I'm going to wait for a little while. I'm going to get, let my military recover. Um, I like to be at full strength. It makes you much more powerful. I can't build this group up to five because then I wouldn't have the 500 that I need for the kingdom um, declaration of war. But I'm going to let them build up to, their, to the strength that they should be at right now. Um, I've got a little bit of money, so I'm going to hold a feast as well, so I get a little bit more prestige. Just having a look here at my characters, I've got a, a lady here who's unmarried. See who we can bring to court. Uh, we've already got a good, well, he is my chancellor. Frody, not that, I think we've actually got a better marshal. That might be slightly better than what we have. That's a lot better, but intrigue just doesn't work with Rurik. Um, he just gets stressed every time he tries to murder somebody. Um, that's actually quite high. But what we what we all what we want to be doing is looking for prowess. Uh, this guy, thirty three, and a berserker. Get him on the team. And the reason for that is that very very soon we're going to be having household guard, and we'll need four more knights. Actually, our knights are pretty good. It's going to go up to eighteen. Um, but what I don't want is those extra four to be like threes and fours and things like that. So our worst champion is a nine. So hopefully we're going to gradually improve that over time. So let's hit let's hit play. Right. Let's just have a look at these um, these factions. Not currently worried about this guy, although it might be worth starting to sway him. Um, this could pop up at a very, very difficult time, couldn't it? These these independence ones. You've got two, two leaders and all these guys. Yeah, my, my, but the danger I think is that they is that they I can, I can handle them. The danger is that they pop up when I'm busy, engaged in a in a major war. Let's um, let's get in the goal in, engaged in a major war. Alright, interestingly, I'm going to go fight these guys. So there's a raid going on. What I really want to do is get the uh, the prestige from defeating raiding armies. Now we're going to have to attack it with a levy army. Um, let's see what happens. Yep, a lot of prestige, super, and a lot of gold. And we got another one here. Let's just check how my other army's going. Oh, I'm winning this massive battle. Okay. 
Okay, should we get another big load of prestige in this battle? Right. I'm even going to put the, the my wife in charge of military for a short time. All right, we lost one of our best um, berserkers in that battle. I'll carry on looking for berserkers. Right, let's go straight for the jugular. Right, let's have a look. So, okay, so we've got it, household guard. So the number of uh, knights we have has just gone up by four. We just lost a really good knight, so the quality isn't necessarily improving that much. Um, but we, that's something that we're gonna be able to work on. Let's move the queen back to manage domain. <sighs> okay, gonna have to just accept control level levy going down. Excellent. Let's take these two counties here, declare war. I think I go for the duchy. So 180, I get two duchies for that. So how are we now doing? Empire titles, we are five away. Right, the time has come to fight Khazaria. What's my age? 56. So realistically, they got 1,100 horse archers. I am an absolute idiot. So I need five more counties. All of those counties are in uh, the uh, Carnate of Khazaria. I've just gone and got myself the best possible um, alliance so that I can attack them, and I've allied myself to them. I now can't attack them without breaking a truce, which is gonna cost me. Yuck, okay. All right, slight change of attack then. We're gonna wait until our military is up to full strength. Are we going to make anything stronger? I think we can take them. I wouldn't mind having more money. How about we go raiding? Let's go and raid Estonia. Yeah, right, so, just looking at realms, Estonia, the leader is this guy. He's not that powerful. Okay, right, we're gonna have to go on a major raid of Estonia, our traditional raiding grounds.
Right, looks like I've got a big war coming. As I say, I'm suffering with stress. I am in the middle of a campaign of raiding. I'm drinking too much. I'm being attacked by Vikings. And I've mucked up my marriages. Brilliant. Right. We're going to do this one. We're going to fight them off. We're going to get a ton of prestige, hopefully. Keep your eyes out for the arrival of the Vikings. Here they are. Right. Let's complete what we're doing. Okay. Right. Let's. Right, we're going to win this battle. But there's more guys coming. So let's raise more troops. Let's raise all. Phenomenal. Lovely. So I've won this war. Got a little bit of prestige. Let's go and get some more prestige. Get some nice bit of prestige against these raiders. Yeah, lovely. Dismiss. Okay, right. These guys back here, we're going to disband them. Okay, Tom. That's the easiest way to do it, isn't it? Okay. Right. Okay, so I've broken the alliance by simply breaking the betrothal. Um, looking for alliance power. This girl here has got 3,000, that seems pretty good. So that's Tom married off. His brother Vasily. We want alliance power. Uh, another 3,000. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, that's okay. Okay. Right, let's get those marriages in. Let's look at this war. No, nope, let's go for the duchy. Oh, we have full strength. As much as we're going to be. Okay, I can't afford the cost of declaring war because I did all kinds of other stuff. Let's just raid Lithuania then. I've died. This kingdom is going to absolutely fall apart. Not managed the end of this very well at all. All right, the good news is that I'm young. I'm only 11 years old. What a disaster. So the whole plan really was to get that empire title and then start digging, building tall in Novgorod. And now I've lost, I've lost everything. Okay, I think I'm going to have to uh, stop there. Obviously, I've uh, taken too big a chance, really, being really, really greedy, trying to get the whole empire under Rurik. Um, you know, he hasn't had the healthiest of lifestyles. He's, he's had a few injuries in battles. You know, he wasn't going to last a long time. His grandson is now, I'm now his grandson, who is, you know, fine, you know, doing very well, but he's only 11. Uh, we need to make sure he's being... He's being educated by uh, by somebody. His trait. He's he's going martial, isn't he? Rather like Grandad. Educate child. Let's just get rid of any defaults. Um, who's this guy? I mean, he'd be great. 
let's go for that. So I'm going to have to really fight a series of wars against my brothers, but I think what I'm going to have to do is obviously one of them's got White Roos. That's my Uncle Tom and Pajama Land. But because they're not my brothers, I don't even have claims on them, I don't think. No, but they do have claims on mine, probably. Okay, so what I need to do is, is attack all these things that for people that I'm not directly related to. This is my Uncle Ilya. I'm related to all of them, aren't I? Okay. So instead, I might, might go a different route. I might ally them all, because I've still got my incredible uh, men-at-arms, and I might lead a series of conquests against this guy. I mean, the ultimate would be subjugation, wouldn't it? So close, so close to having it all. Uh, never mind, never mind. Yeah, so this is Ilya, he's all over the place. This is mine though, which is at least handy. It's gonna be a bit messy recapturing all of that. But achievable, so I could do like a, I mean like this is a kingdom, yeah, so I can do a kingdom war against that, and I can do a subjugation war against this, regaining an awful lot. I'm only 11 years old. I mean, this guy here... My uncle is so, so, so weak. I mean, the only difficulty I have is that I can't actually f do the types of war against him that I would, I'd like to. Yeah, I want to go for at least duchy titles, which I need to be illustrious. Distinguished is not so far away. So I think I'm going to use these alliances to attack Khazaria with my uncles, because I'm pretty sure I can al ally them. I can't automatically ally them. Okay, fine. Attack has a rear on my own. Should be should be doable. Okay, um, and I'll be back tomorrow to see if I can sort out this absolute mess. Thank you.